Hi everyone, I'm Monty. Thank you for joining me. I'm pleased you're here. Today what we're going to do is look at this jig. It's a simple little jig, but it's an important jig because it helps us fit this top accurately to the side of the guitar. And I'm going to show you that in detail. So let's get a look at this up close. Now this jig is very small. It doesn't uh, take up a whole lot of room on your bench or anywhere else. It only measures approximately two inches, two and a quarter inches by about two inches height. And what I've got here, as you can see, I've got an indentation in here. Now that depth is sixty thousandths of an inch, which is what I want for the bracing to go through the side of the guitar. So the bracing will actually fit on here like this, flush, and then the top will be glued to it. So that's that works extremely well. And on this side, I did the same thing. So when I did my router, I just routed this out at 60 thousandths, turned this over, and I routed this out. Now, because you've got braces coming in on angles, I cut this off to help me get in closer. And then what I did is I put this onto a spindle sander and I just rounded that out to allow me to get in even closer. So that's it. The hole is simply to hang it on the wall, nothing more. So let me show you how this works over here on the guitar top. I have already played with this. And the way I did this was to take the rim of the guitar and I placed it on the top. It went on like this and then I drew a line around the outside of it. And then where these pieces cross, I also drew it inside the guitar so that I knew how deep this had to go and where, where it would be. So there with my finger is how it's going to be that I want it sixty thousandths of an inch. I use the chisel here and this piece simply placed at sixty thousandths is not rocking. Well there's a, you know what, there's a tiny little bit of a rock. Let's take a little more off here. I'm very careful about this. And I hold the chisel down here so that it's not going to go like that and gouge into the top or this way. I don't want it moving anywhere. So I just take my time and I just take the smallest little bite. Once I go beyond the line, which is here, this is the outside of the guitar and this is where it's going to be crossing the top of the guitar, like the, the side. So I know that if this is the area here and this is the outside, this area in here, I want that to be sixty thousandths of an inch. And it's pretty darn good. It's not rocking at all. So we're good there. Now, what I do in order to make sure I've got it nice and smooth, I just take a piece of dowel wrap some sandpaper, and I just sand it. Now these nodes run here at about a half an inch in height, and that's all you want. It could be slightly less, so we will just check this because we can. I'll put it on the inches. There we go. So that is exactly a half an inch. Exactly. So I'm happy with that. I will end up sanding this on the side. And I have this peak 
back about two and a half inches from the side of the guitar. Well, yeah, that's about two and a quarter inches. It could go a little more. And then down in here, I've got the same thing, and I can see a little bump right in here, and I don't like that. I want that smoothed out. Okay, I need a heavier sandpaper, and I simply do this. I just roll it. Oh, that's perfect. That bump is gone. Now we'll just smooth it, because I like these to be just so, I don't know, I'm just crazy. I like it nice and smooth. I like it done right. Now, something I want to point out to you. As you know, when it comes to bracing, when a bracing is pyramided like this is, coming up on either side, so that it forms a, an arch like that, as opposed to being flat, that provides more strength to the top of the guitar. And that's why we've curved this over here and curved it over here. When it's flat, like it is in here, what that does is that allows for movement on the top because it's not as strong as something that's narrow and tall. In order to make sure I've got that right, I use a little spacing block here, a little sanding block, and I will sand that just to make sure that I have it. Now this is an 80 grit sandpaper. I will use the 400 again to smooth it down. That's not down far enough. Well, it's pretty darn close. That's almost right on. Not quite. So let's see how we do this time. Okay, just a tad more. Once it goes beyond the guitar, it doesn't matter, because where we have the lines drawn here, this is the outside of the guitar. This is all getting cut away, and I'll, in fact, sand some of that away, and this as well, before I use the router to shape it all up nice and neat. So let's try this again. Yeah, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is hit that with the 400 grit. All right, so what I have to do is I have to do that now to this, and I have to do it here and here and here. I have to come all around the top and do the whole thing until I've got these all down where they need to be, and then I'm gonna cut the sides of the guitar, and I'll show you that in, in the next video, I think. Well, I think that's about it for today. Uh, I just I needed to show you this because this is this is easy to make. It's a five inch piece of Baltic birch. You can use hardwood. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have, get something like this. And when you're using your router, use a gauge and set it up for the depth you want. Just run it across here, run it across there, and then shape this and then keep this flat. And make sure you're flat here and you're flat here when you're doing that. So it's it's a no-brainer jig, and yet it'll save you a whole lot of time, and it will be very useful on your guitar. It's time for me to head up, have a cup of tea, and if you haven't seen the book yet, by all means, the ebook is available. You can order that. That's Chasing After Justice. It's available now, and the paperback will be out in a matter of a few more days, I think. It's, it's very close, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.